Welcome, welcome. I am G Paw, and Korg's Intergalactic Tour is live. It's June first. This will be running all month long for it says thirty four days. That's that's a little bit longer than a month, so that's awesome. Um, and I want to maximize my profits in it as well as help you do the same. So I'm going to make a guide here covering uh, another event that's a lot shorter in time and kind of give you a breakdown of the numbers to see how you can maximize your profit and your your free rewards essentially just for playing the game. It's called Stone Cold Spiders. So I jumped in here and I'm like, what are we getting? And I started looking through all this and it looks quite wonderful, really. But they have these little mini uniques in here. And you want to get these for Korg's Intergalactic Tour. And it's a little koozie. There's one in each event, I believe. Um, and this one is worth 40,000 points. I went over and looked. It's going, called the Stone Cold Koozie, I believe. Stone Cold Drink Koozie, 40,000 points. And it's one of six of these that you're gonna get in different events that are gonna drop throughout the month, as well as collecting rock concert tickets. And that's how you're gonna score here to unlock your Korg and get all this awesome free loot and such. And I will have a video breaking that down better later on, but I wanna focus right here. So scoring for this, you just have to spend campaign energy and power cores. And it's not as bad as it sounds, because honestly, you spend a lot of energy every single day. And if you're playing the game right and you're spending your 50 core refreshes each day to spend over 600 for your raid tickets you're gonna do just fine right here and I'm gonna break it down real quick before I do though I want to jump over to their main page and kind of show some stuff off here this is a one dollar offer and as you know I spend tons and tons of money on this game I've spent a grand total of one dollar and I got 2,000 power cores and 50 silver surfer I think it was like 10 gold orbs and something for a buck it was phenomenal so when I see an offer like this, especially with this event going on, I'm going to buy it for a buck. Which I will do later on my personal time, but that's going to help me in this event and give me 5,000 points right there, just for spending it. I do want to show you what's so important here. So you're going to need a Scopely account, and why this is going to help with your uh, spider event, essentially, is just for signing in a Scopely in-game, and then coming over here and signing in, it's going to allow you to come in here every single day and go to this store. And the store is quite phenomenal. If it'll, oh, we're at the, we're at the offer. Well, there's a thing right here that'll say free. It's like free claims, and you click it, and it gives you a bunch of free stuff each day, and it gives you points towards uh, the spider milestone and other stuff. It actually gives you 500 points a day. So over five days, you get 2,500 points right there, um, for free, helping us get to that 80,000 mark to get that koozie. Now I want to really highlight the milestones here and why they're so important. This, this milestone right here is going to give you five days to complete, but it's called Center Stage Spiders. And this is where you're going to get 40,000 points towards that spider, mile, spider event milestone in game. So that's half of our 80,000 to get the koozie right there. So if you don't do this, you're shooting yourself in the foot essentially, and you're going to have to spend a lot of money or cores or something else to make up 40,000 points. So definitely be doing this, and it's not hard to do at all. It's actually passive, and it's just rewarding us for playing the game, essentially. So there is 20 milestones, zero out of 20 completed, but there's 20 milestones to collect here, and they all give you decent rewards as well as some of these curr this currency towards that spider event. And right here, you can actually earn 40,000 if you do all 20 milestones. You're gonna get 40,000 Stone Cold Spiders milestone points. Which in itself is going to give us a ton of free loot over in game. Not to mention these side bonus, the side extra, side bonuses, these gear and stuff like that. It actually breaks down to six purple bio gear orbs and six mystic gear orbs. Two legacy one orbs, two legacy two orbs, and 13 legacy three orbs, which is some actually really good characters are in there. And all those orbs offer you five to 20 character shards per pole. So. You could end up with quite a significant amount, honestly. It also gives us five orange elite orbs, five tail gear raid orbs. So to top it off, I mean, you're getting some gear that you're going to need down the road, really. Um, and that's all just literally for doing your raids in game. So over the five days, you're going to need to do 72 raids to score in this to max out your milestones. And the scoring here is play one raid battle for 225 points. And what I did is I did, I took five days divided by or not five days. I took, let me show you here, 16,000 points that we need divided by 225. And it gave me 70.1 forever. So I said, I figure up 72 raids. 
So you ha should have an Ultimus or a Doom Raid going, maybe Incursions, as well as an Alpha Beta Gamma Raid. It's the only other three, I think. So two raids going simultaneously in your guild. And you should be doing attacks in them anyway, right? So, I mean, it's not going to be hard to do at all. And if you break down 72 raids over five days, it's 15 raids a day. So you're figuring, you know, seven and a half or eight raids in each one of those raids. And I usually get 10. I think 10 is the max you can do on each raid. Maybe more if you spend. So it shouldn't be too hard to do 15 raids a day if you're active in your guild anyhow. And you're going to get all this wonderful, wonderful loot. <laughs> to top it off, you're going to have 40k of the SCS points. That's a, f that's a fifth of the event, essentially. Um, which is quite wonderful. I want to jump back over. Well, before I do here, I want to check out these milestones and show you one other thing that's quite phenomenal. It's right here. Your daily web reward, just for spending 50 power cores in-game every day. You can come in here every day and get this. And it's going to give you... 100 free energy, which is going to score you more points in that spider event, plus give you a premium orb. So you should be doing this hands down. And if you haven't done, got a Scopely account and logged in on MarvelStrikeForce.com, definitely check out one of my videos on my channel. I have a number one tip in Marvel Strike Force, and it is phenomenal. They have very subtle hints about doing this, but my video breaks it all down, how to do it and why you should do it. So definitely go check that out. All right, so we're back over here in game, and I want to talk about how we're going to get the other 40,700 points to get our little koozie here, right? I don't want my drinks getting hot and sweating all over the place. I want them to stay nice and cold so I can sip on them on the beach, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so I kind of did some number crunching, broke it all down to figure out how we're going to get this other 40,700 points. And from the energy that we're going to accumulate over five days, we'll be able to get, I think it's... I wrote down 5,540 points a day. So that'll equal out over five days to 27,700 points. And the way that's figured out is you're going to have energy accumulating throughout the day, one energy every five minutes. So you're going to come out with 288 energy a day for free, as well as your 350, 80 energy refreshes. So you get 80 energy three times a day, giving you 240 energy, and your 450 core refreshes, which gives you 480 energy. Now, if you did that online thing where you spend 50 cores in game to the energy refresh and then you go over to MarvelStrikeForce.com, it's going to give us an extra 100, totaling 1,108 energy possible a day. Yeah, that's right. And then you're going to take that times 5 points right here in the scoring for your energy, and it's going to give you 5540 points a day, equaling 27,700 points. Now, what that means is we're going to be left with. 13,000 more points that we still need to come up with. A side note here is you're going to get those 500 points passively uh, towards this. You're going to get 500 uh, of those credits on that online site in that free claim section, which is 2,500 points over five days. And that's actually going to drop us back down to 10,500 points needed. So we're going to look back in our 450 core refreshes to get that energy every day actually comes out to 200 cores a day times five days is a thousand cores a thousand cores times six points is six thousand points now that six thousand points is going to drop us down to four thousand five hundred points left needed so we're going to have two options here essentially to get the last forty five hundred points my recommendation is well you can spend power cores or energy right it's only two ways to score or spend money but my, my recommendation is to spend 400 cores on the energy refreshes after the 50 core refreshes. So get four of those 100 refreshes, and that's going to give you, spend you 400 power cores more, giving you 2,400 points out of the 4,500 we need. So we need 2,100 more, and the 480 energy you just bought with those cores is going to give you 480 energy times, what is it times here? 480 energy times five? Yeah, and I believe that comes out to be 2,400 2, more points, and you only need 2,100, giving us the ultimate goal, our koozie. I hope you followed along with that. If not, maybe go back and listen to it in slow-mo. And we'll be right here with our koozie. Now, I did do a breakdown of all this loot right here, and I wrote it down. I kind of want to just read some of it off. The loot. Free loot. Well, it's not free. We're earning it, but... It's a lot of loot here. What it's going to give us is 40 Miles Morales shards, 20 Scarlet Spider, 20 Ghost Spider, 
and 20 spider punk shards it will also give us 20 spider-man symbiote 20 spider-man noir and 20 spider-man 2099 and what those what i'm talking about is here's noir 20 shards of him 20 of these spider-man 2099s and i'm reading off my list here of what their what their loot is because i wanted to write it down and kind of visualize it because when you look at it like this it can be off-putting you can be like yeah that's, those are big numbers but is it really you know i 20 shards isn't really nothing considering you need you know however many to unlock a person you know so it will add up and such but i wanted to you know see it with my own eyes here it will also give us two legacy one orbs four legacy two orbs and seven and a half legacy three orbs and that essentially equals out to 65 to 260 possible shards so when you come over here to these legacy orbs the legacy three is wonderful and you need all the characters i mean Legacy 1 offers you Captain America right here. And he's in Web Warriors for Spider-Man. Captain America is an amazing, amazing tank. Great character after the rework and such. Iron Fist, Heroes for Hire, great character. There's a lot of good characters in each of these orbs. My point is, you're getting 5 to 20 shards every time you pull an orb. So you're getting you know, several of these, several of these, and you're getting 7.5 of these ones. And these are the good ones. These are the characters that actually you use to like unlock other things, beat campaign modes, really premium characters. And you're gonna get between 65 and 260 of those shards just for doing this event. I mean, that's by itself, that's really, really awesome. You're also gonna get 800 blue catalysts, 1,050 purple catalyst, and 1,300 gold catalyst. Now those numbers are big, but it takes quite a few catalysts per piece of gear. So it's not, out of the water amazing but it's going to help you so so much um building up some of your characters it also is going to give us 700 what is it 700 purple pieces used to craft gear and what i mean by that is like these 50 100 uh 150 200 you know what i mean these purple pieces of gear it's going to give us 700 of those it's also going to give us 350 of these gold pieces right here to craft gear with and it takes several of these pieces to make a piece of gear but it's still, you're going to get quite a bit of gear out of the deal. And these are the catalysts that I'm talking about. Superior damage catalysts, the gold ones. You know, we they're only giving us 1,300 gold catalysts, but it helps substantially. We're also going to get 100 green pieces and 10 mini uniques. So that is where it's at. You're going to need a lot of mini uniques, these right here, to upgrade characters later on down the road. So five of these and five of these is not a lot, but every bit helps. And we're having six events this month, little five-day events. Over time, they build up, you know, and you have other ways of getting them, too. So, I mean, it's quite awesome, in my opinion. I'm loving it that they're giving me these, you know, these teal gear or green gear or whatever they are um, pieces. It's going to give us 11 Armory 14 orbs and 8 Armory 15 orbs, which gives you 14 and 15 gear pieces. I believe it's the mini uniques. I want to show you where you can actually open those because I am a new player here and I'm hoping that a lot of new players are watching so I kind of want to show this stuff off and walk you through it as best as I can I don't have them unlocked because I'm too new but they will stack up and when you unlock them they'll be down here at the bottom an armory 15 orb and an armory 14 orb and you'll just have tons and tons to open and it still won't be enough but you'll have a ton of them so it's it's huge it's really really good believe me I want to come back down here real quick so I can kind of show you what we're getting while we're getting it and all they are is these right here armor 15 orb fragments it takes 2,000 of them for one gear orb now it's gonna give us some basic t1 iso 8 orbs actually it's gonna give us six of them and it's gonna give us two dark dimension countdown orbs so if you you get been getting one of these a day it's gonna give us two of them right here throughout this milestone and you can get some pretty awesome stuff from it I have personally um, it's hit and miss, you know, I like to open 10 in a row, so I'll go one, one, one after another for 10 of them. I wait till I have 10 of them saved up, and I seem to have better drops that way. Let me know how you're doing it, if you're just opening them right away or what, um, and how your luck is, because I, I like to save up a little bit. It seems to improve my odds. And these are the other orbs we're getting, basic T2 ISO 8 orb fragments. Now, I don't think we're going to be able to use them anytime soon, but they are needed eventually, and you're going to get 10 of those. So I mean overall guys, you're getting all that free loot. And I know it was a lot of rambling right there, but if you just look here, it's it's kind of off-putting. Oh, 20 shards of this, 20 shards of that. You need 100 to get the guy, what's 20 shards? 
those 20 shards add up, you know, and really they're selling, I think, 50 shards for however much on the in the store. So this is them giving us money, essentially, and helping us build out characters, you know. They'll come passively throughout the month or throughout the game. So I'm super excited. Comment down below how excited you are. Um, if you're going to go any higher than 80,000, let me know. I'm interested in kind of what your plan is. Um, I hope this helped more than it confused. Comment and let me know. Like and subscribe, guys. Stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one.